Hello guys, this is Jack again, and I'm a math and electrical engineering tutor from the Jack. In the previous video, we learned about the impedance of a circuit, and now in this video, we are going to learn about the admittance of a circuit. Recall from the previous video that the impedance Z of a circuit is the ratio of the phase of voltage V to the phase of current I measure in ohm so Z equal V over I and now the admittance we define is that Y is the reciprocal of the impedance 1 over Z measure in Simons so Y equal 1 over Z or the inverse of this which is I over V and the admittance y of an element of a circuit is the ratio of the phasor current through it to the phasor voltage across it. So for, for example, we have a resistor. So the uh, admittance is 1 over R instead of R for the impedance. And inductor it's 1 over J omega L instead of J omega L for the impedance and similarly for the capacitor the admittance is J omega C we can also represent this formula in a complex quantities known as Y equal G plus J B, where G here is the conductance and B is called a susceptance but um, we don't have to um, go much into detail for this G and B just know that um, area admittance can be represented as G plus um, the complex J of um, the B Okay, so let's um, take a look at one example on how to find the admittance of a circuit. For example, we have the um, RLC circuit. We can have um, parallel, parallel RLC circuit. Okay, so first we have a voltage source V and connecting in parallel with the resistor R also connecting in parallel with capacitor C and inductor L So we want to find the total admittance of the RLC circuit here and remember the admittance of the whole circuit the total admittance is equal to the sum of each of the admittance of R, C and L for the parallel circuit so um, recall that if in the case of impedance for the parallel circuit you have to to do the 1 over impedance equal 1 over R plus 1 over impedance of capacitor plus 1 over impedance of L but now for the admittance we find the inverse of that so the admittance of any parallel circuit is the sum of each of the brains that are parallel together so that means we have the impedance should be Y here the impedance of R plus the impedance of C plus the impedance of L and the impedance of I is just 1 over R plus the impedance of C is J omega C and the oh, oh sorry the admittance of 
C and then also the ad admittance of L is 1 over J omega L and from here you can um, also bring the J from the bottom to the top and you can also write as something like this 1 over R plus J omega C minus J over omega L the reason I want to bring the admittance to the top because I want to factor the J out so we can have 1 over R plus J omega C minus 1 over omega L and recall the form that we have from the previous uh, page here G plus J B we can write the admittance, the total admittance equals something as uh, G plus J B and record as this one is actually the G and this expression here is called the B and G is the conductance and B is the susceptance if you have any uh, real value for omega or C we can just plug in the formula and we can from there we can find the conductance and susceptance um, of the circuit from the admittance formula of the parallel IOC circuit so that's all how you find the admittance of uh, a particular parallel circuit so thanks for watching